Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question average of levels in a binary tree. Given a non-empty binary tree, we need to return the average value of the nodes on each level in the form of an array. In this particular example, the average value of the nodes on level 0 is 3, on level 1 is 14.5 that is the sum of these two divided by the number of nodes that is 2 and on the second level the average is 11 that is sum of these nodes by the number of nodes and so our answer would contain the array or the list of all these numbers or averages that we have. One thing to note here is that the range of nodes value is in the range of a 32 bit signed integer and can go to a maximum of value of the integer also and can also go to the maximum value of the integer. So we cannot work with an int value but we need to take something bigger than that so that we can accommodate the sum of more than one integers with the maximum value. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question. Let's consider this example that was given to us in the question. The level of the traversal would look like this and while you are taking the sum and average that would look something like this. The size of the nodes in this particular level 0 is 1 and the sum of all the nodes present on this level is 3 and the average would be given by 3 divided by 1. Similarly when you go to this level the sum would be 20 plus 9 that is 29 and its size is 2 as we have 2 nodes in this level. The average would become 29 divided by 2 which gives us 14.5. On the last level we have 2 nodes so the size becomes 2 and the sum of these nodes is 22 and so the average becomes 22 by 2 which is 11. Now how do you traverse in the level order? We have already made a detailed explanation on the level order traversal in our tree data structure series. So if you haven't watched that yet and if you are not aware of how that works, I'll recommend you to first go and check that video out. The link to it is in the top as I'm not going to explain to you that how a level order traversal works. I'll only be telling you how this question can use that algorithm with a small tweak to give the result that is desired. The link to that video is in the top and also in the description. So go and check it out first and then come back to this video to see what tweaks we make. So here's the algorithm that we saw in the video explaining level order traversal. Wherein we initialize a queue and a result list. Initially we add the root node into the queue and loop while this queue is not empty. Then inside that while loop, we take a temporary variable for storing the size that would contain the number of nodes that are there in that level. And so that temp size would be equal to the number of nodes that are present in the queue at that particular time. And then we loop for that particular size of the current level and then try to dequeue an element or a node each time and add that value in the result list to show the level order traversal. After doing that we add its left and right to the queue for the next iteration and decrement the size of that particular level elements. Finally we can return the list. Now this was the algorithm for level order traversal wherein my result list would contain the order in which I am traversing on each level from top to bottom and from left to right. Now how can we use this algorithm? A small change as we can see in the yellow would be made in the previous algorithm so as it works for this question. So since we need the average we need to find the sum. So we initialize a variable sum and instead of adding the current value to result we will add that value in our sum variable. And instead of a while loop here I am using a for loop for the temp size that we have found that is the size of the nodes in the current level. When we come out of this inner for loop we will have sum and the size with us and we can calculate the average by the formula sum divided by temp size. And then we add this average in our result list and finally we return this result list. So this small change in the level order traversal algorithm would make it acceptable for our current situation. So let's go ahead and write the code for this algorithm. So we'll first have our result list 
and we'll also initialize a queue. After we have this queue, initially we add our root element in the queue. That would denote the level 0 elements. After we are done with this, we'll be iterating while the queue is not empty as we saw in the algorithm. And over here, we'll take a variable size, which would be size of the queue at that particular moment that is given by q dot size and we'll take a variable long sum that would be 0 initially. Now I'll iterate for int i equal to 0 to i is less than size and over here I need to pop an element from the queue, add the sum and then add its left and right in the queue. When I come out of this loop, I need to add the average in my result. Finally, I can return the result. And that's it. Let's run this code. And it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this. And it got submitted. So the time complexity over here would be O of n, that is number of nodes that are present in the tree. And the space complexity would also be O of n, so that's it for today guys, I'll see you in another one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding.